Hello and welcome to this short video on using the cut option within the indent tool. Okay, I've got this beam section here and I need to create a connecting bracket to connect to this beam. So I've got the geometry all here ready to go. Now rather than remodeling all this geometry from say a drawing, I can actually insert this beam into a bracket and then use the a cut feature in the indent tool to create the, the say the opposite side of my bracket here uh, pretty easily. So let's go ahead and go into the bracket. There's my bracket. So I need to add in all those features on the end of the beam onto this bracket. Now the way I need to do that is to actually insert that part, so my beam part, into this bracket part. So to do that I can go to the insert menu and then go part. Then I can select my beam to add in to this this bracket part. And it's just going to come in. I'm just going to put it down anywhere. Like so. So here's my beam. It comes in as a solid body. Bring does bring the planes in because I had them turned on. So let's just hide these planes quickly. I don't need them. There we go. So now I need to align this beam so it intersects the bracket at the right section. Uh, and then I can use the indent cut feature. So let's go ahead. So to get it arranged correctly in this part, I need to use the move copy body function, which is under the features menu. So insert and then features and then move copy. And I'm going to move. I want to move this body, so I'm going to select that body here. You may come in with it in translate mode. Uh, it depends on what you last used it for. I need to make sure it's on constraints and once I've selected my part I need to then go and tell it to two surfaces to mate together. So the mates here are very similar to what you'd find in the assembly. So let's go and say this face here to this face. I'm just going to flip the alignment. Okay so that's now done. I can add that in. I'm going to select this face and then this face and make them coincident as well. So we're almost there. Go add. And then I'm going to select this face and this face and go add. And then I'm going to go OK. So I've got two bodies here that are actually intersecting one another. And what I can do now is go to the insert menu and then go features and then use the indent tool. And for the target body I'm going to select my bracket and then for the tool body region I'm going to select my beam and then I'm going to select the cut tool here, it's the cut option and I'm going to give it an offset of, I could have an offset of nothing in which case they were, it would just cut away this, this geometry but I'm going to put an offset on 0.4 of a mil and I'll show you what that will do if I go OK now it will then offset it by 0.4 of a mil all the way around this this tall region here which is my beam uh, you want to have a bit of clearance on it uh, you don't have to but obviously if you wanted to paint this for instance you, you'd need to have some clearance otherwise it's not going to fit together so at this point what I can do is just delete this body out now so if I go to insert and then go to features and then go delete body and then select this body for delete and then go OK You'll now notice that it has actually added that geometry in uh, to my bracket. Now at the moment I've got these bars here which aren't actually going to help me. So what I can do is if I go back and maybe if I suppress these holes you'll now notice that they've disappeared. So it's still linked to my beam file at the moment. So if my beam updates, so will this bracket. Okay, that concludes our short video on using the cut feature within the indent tool. Thanks for watching.